This episode of Joe Genius is brought to you by Gorilla Glue. Okay, you ready guys? Give a backyard scientist a camera and things get a little bit weird. This ain't your grandpappy's science show. Holy shit. This is Joe Genius. Hey there, welcome to Joe Genius, where backyard science goes big time. My name is Joe Ray, and this time we're dealing with projectiles. That's anything that arcs through the air, following a path defined by momentum and the pull of gravity. We found Joe Geniuses using all kinds of projectiles in their backyards. So get ready, we're going to the launch pad. So let's get to it with the trebuchet. It was used in medieval times to hurl heavy stones at the bad guys. Well, the bad guys depending on which side you were fighting for. And now scientists are using it to hurl, well, pretty much anything. Nice launch, nice launch. Of course, no nighttime launch is complete without flames. Ah, yes. These backyard scientists filled a pumpkin with gas and then sent it screaming into the night. <laughs> Good night, orcs. Scientist Daniel Rojas created this, the Lego trebuchet. And here are the tiny engineers. Ah, adorable. There's no flaming pumpkin here, but I'd imagine that would just destroy the tiny little villagers. What can your Legos do? Sit in a crate. Okay, here we are. Here's the mess of all the pumpkins we've fired so far. We're trying to hit these scarecrows, and I'm standing just out of harm's way here. And uh, the guys are getting ready for another fire. And it should be coming up soon. Three. Here we go. One. Ask any parent of a student, and college is all about going to class and getting good grades. I beg to differ. I think it's all about building what these guys call the mighty trebuchet. These Notre Dame engineering students had to do a project showing that energy is conserved. It's never created or destroyed, just transferred. In this case, the energy wound up in the trebuchet gets transferred to the projectile. Tamed potential energy becomes wild kinetic energy, the energy of motion. After many tries, they finally launched a tennis ball. Whoa. The best part, other than getting on Joe Genius, is that they got an A for this awesome project. All right, we've launched flaming pumpkins and balloons, but the next logical step is to, you guessed it, launch home appliances, washing machines, pianos, and finally, a lawnmower. Nick Miller from Michigan says this 40-foot tall projectile launcher was built in just two weeks and out of scrap metal. It can even hurl a bowling ball 300 feet. But on the local lanes, he can't even really break 100. Boink! Yeah! <laughs> Bullseye! We've seen a lot of sticky situations in this show. Speaking of sticky situations, our sponsor is Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue, for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information, visit GorillaGlue.com or head to your local hardware store to check out all their amazing products for yourself. God, that stuff sticks so good. The trebuchet is just one primitive version of the catapult. But you know, the more modern versions, they don't really work a whole lot better. Now. Nice one, guys. Yeah! Here's one built by a garage scientist in 10 minutes. Well, he says it took 10 minutes. And in this video, I am going to be building a uh, powerful catapult that I call the Wyvern. And I'm going to do it all in 10 minutes' time just to show you the, how easy it can be to build a nice catapult. We give this homemade catapultist the Joe Effort Award. His speedy projectile build didn't go quite as planned, but he still got a bitchin' lesson in ballistic physics. Whether you use a nuclear missile or a trebuchet, the science behind your projectile is the same. 
The path of your projectile is a battle between the forward momentum of your object and the downward pull of gravity. Too steep a shot will lead to great heights, but poor distance. Too shallow and your projectile won't make it far before hitting the ground. The trick is to split the difference, so you get maximum range if you fire at a 45 degree angle. We got a guy who's got suburban pranks down to a science. Ready? Yep. Good thing it's unused toilet paper, because that would just be cruel. Potatoes aren't just for french fries and hash browns, no. Backyard scientists everywhere, may I introduce the potato gun. This is a bad idea. We're here in the middle of nowhere, just lost potato. As you pick up this cap here, he's gonna go and uh, take this hairspray. Lots of it. We don't just use hairspray for hair anymore. We use it to launch potatoes. That's what we're here for. He's gonna take that in there. He's gonna put it in there. Okay, here we go. You ready? Almost. He's gonna check the igni uh, igniter. He's gonna say ignition. Shut up, Doc. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, he's ready. Here we go. Here we go! Oh. oh, you guys see that? Looks like his tater tots just got mashed. This Joe genius is sitting on a car seat with an airbag underneath. With the helmet strapped on, he's ready to destroy any chance of ever having kids. Give him a count, man. Are we ready? You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one! Really quick, I want to thank our sponsor, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue, for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information, go to GorillaGlue.com or just head on down to your local hardware store and go, where's the Gorilla Glue? And they'll be like, it's right here. And you go, thank you, here's the money for it. They go, see you later. And then you won't be as embarrassed next time you're at a Joe Genius meeting and you don't have it in your toolbox. That's right, Gorilla Glue, get it. All right, now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the Joe Genius Award, where we award the best of the best in backyard science. And the Joe Genius Award goes to Nick with his car-crushing trebuchet and projectile shenanigans. Come on down, dude. You're going to get an award. Good job, Nick. You could throw further than anyone, that I know at least. Yeah! <laughs> so there you have it, projectiles, bitching ballistics right in your backyard. It doesn't matter. You can throw something down, up, to the side. If it's thrown and there's no other force than gravity acting on it, you've got a projectile, friend. Hey, thanks for watching Joe Genius. I'm Jonah Ray, the Lord of the Launch and the President of Projectiles. I'm just kidding. I was kicked out of those positions. Joe Genius is brought to you in part by the National Science Foundation.